three, two, one, go! So, Mo Yang released Snapshot 14W17A a couple days ago. And with it came the World Border Command, which is I'm really excited about. There's some fun things I've been playing around with with it recently. And this is one of them. Right now, I am racing the World Border to 0 0. If it catches up with me, I'm a dead man. I am about 1,500 blocks away from it. And it is moving 2.5 meters per second. And this doesn't look good for me. The... Alright, I'll pass that. So I'm going to want to be, since this is such a far distance, I'm going to get hungry while running. So part of the challenge here is got to be getting myself some wood, which I guess I can start at right now. I'm going to want four logs so that I can make myself a sword to quickly kill meat as I go. Oh, oh it's coming, it's coming, let's go. Is this the right way? I got to turn around. Yes. Yeah, and then the other thing I want to make with my wood is a boat in case I ever run into an ocean. It's... I've been having some problems with my recording lately, so I'm doing a different method right now, which is giving me really low frames per second, so unfortunately for you guys, you have to work with that too. So I'm sorry about that. As for playing this game yourself, I've even... Oh, man, I can around again. Where is it? Is it coming? That was really bad the time. Okay, if you guys want to play this game for you... Oh, man, it's there. I am doing horrible. I can't let that happen to me anymore. So I've made this website, and you can look at the link on screen. And this will bring you to just a simple calculator that will tell you the different commands that you'll have to type in, mattering on how far you want to go and stuff. It, it's a very simple just calculations that you probably could just do in your head, but I did it anyways. Let's see if I can live this. Oh yeah, and as you can see, I'm starting to get hungry. I think I'm not going to be able to run anymore, which is going to be really tricky. So I'm really going to want to start getting food soon. And it is really hard with this little fresh for a second. This is also hard to turn around and see how far... Oh, it's really close. I don't think I'm going to live much longer. Good. Now to just try. I think I'm a dead man. I actually have not won this yet, but I have tried a few times trying to get myself a good speed to which I think would be an appropriate difficulty. I might actually love this. Here we go, here we go. So right now, just walking, you move faster than the wall moves. But because of things like hills and boats and hunger, it gets a lot trickier because of that. As you can tell, I'm having lots of problems right now. Though so I'm getting some good distance now, at least the best I can. The uh, desert's going to be really helpful actually because it's pretty flat. I'm going to need to try to set up food as soon as possible. I want to get myself some distance away from the wall first before I start trying to craft because I only gave myself enough wood to make one crafting table. And so I want to craft both the sword and the boat there at the same time. One of the times I actually played, I got really close. I just needed to make a boat and that was it. However, I left my crafting table behind and I didn't give myself enough wood to make a second. And I would have had to backtrack to make myself another just to get one more log. And that backtrack distance it killed me. By the time I got to the first tree, uh, the wall was there too. This might be enough distance. That's all I can hope. Oh, actually, the Enderman that you saw die over there, the wall's suffocating them as they go. And so that will kind of give us an idea of where the wall is there. 
maybe I think I'll just hold off making the sword until I see the next animal. Which hopefully is soon. I guess that's the con of being in the desert is I don't think there's any animals in a desert. So plains are actually ideal, but what's really fun is when you have extreme hill biomes. Because then you're having to go up and down hills and that, that's where the strategy comes in more what strategy there is. And the uh, parkour, it makes it more parkourish. Okay, here's some shit that's not helpful. If I don't find food soon, I'm gonna starve. So also just another thing, I made this so the distance, it'll take 10 minutes for the wall to travel for that distance. And if we look at my F3, we're about... Oh, we're getting really close. But I am really almost starving. I got about half a hunger thing left. Also just something to keep in mind, but as you start getting closer, you gotta make sure that both your X and your Z gets close to zero zero because you don't want to be with your X at zero and then your Z 100 blocks away because that just slows down. There's some cows. Hallelujah. And I'm starting. Good thing we found them. Oh, that might be an ocean. Let's do this as quick as possible. Hopefully the wall's not coming up. and a boat. Oh, there's the wall. But I got some food. And if I'm just swimming the rest of the distance, which might be possible, then I don't have to worry too much about food. Let's just quickly get here. Alright. Alright, we're safe. So that's why you want enough boat wood for our boat, because as you can see, if I didn't, I would have had to go and I guess I had trees close by this time though, so it was better. Okay, we're getting really close. This might be the winning thing. I'm wondering if the rest of the distance is just on boat. Oh, apparently not. Let's actually try to avoid this, because maybe it's just some sort of island. I doubt it, but if it is, then I, I don't have enough wood to make a second boat. So I'm going to try to stay in this boat as long as possible. Though that's not going to be much longer because it looks like it's starting to veer up that way and I want to be... And it's definitely not an island. <laughs> yeah, now i got to start going diagonally. Oh, I didn't get the wood. Oh, well. Yeah, this one turned out pretty good. I, mostly because there's a lot of flatland this time. Not hills like this one. The other times I've played, they were mostly in extreme hill biomes. But here we go. Zero zero is gonna be over here. I hope it's not in the water. We're getting close to that. We've got this. Also, I made the ending size it'll be three by three instead of one by one because I found it can be actually very difficult to get to that. Who? Past it. Yeah, it can be very difficult to get to that single one by one area. So it's very fun. Go ahead and try it out yourself now that you say me play it and have fun. There we go. Ha ha ha.